Big Boys Big Neighborhood, boy. beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. I've been waiting on this one, man. Arna Barboza Jr., welcome to the neighborhood, my brother. Man, thank you for having me, Come on, thank brother. You, this Welcome, is home bro. plate, man. Where are you from, from? Man, I'm from El Monte, California, Yes, man. sir, man. Monte, Proud. Down the street, yeah. I ain't mad Monte. at you, man. What does the city feel like for you? Oh, man, it's, it's just love, you know? Yeah, bro. It's just love, man. That, that city, you know, is, is stood behind me through through everything, you know what I mean? And um, I'm just happy. I couldn't... I'm more proud more proud to be from the city, man. I, you yeah, know, I was man. just with the city council the other day, you know, doing that thing, and that was amazing, man. So When did you get into boxing, man? Was it, uh, of course, bloodline or whatever, but but when did you say, all right, when would you, like, how old were you when you first go to the gym? When I first went to the gym, I was five and a half years old. Damn. Yeah, my pops, my pops was a professional kickboxer. So, Ooh. um, so. What his shins look like? Man, his, his calves. And, are, yeah, man. man he's, they're huge. Hell you know? yeah. That's yeah. one of those things where you break in the house, you're like, oh, no, Lord, you got a kickboxer, <laughs> a boxer, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What house did I get into? Nah. So you go to the gym at five, five and a half, mm -hmm. and did you know that was there like a bug that you caught thin, or you just like be it was pops in the gym at that time? Yeah, my pops been my trainer since, yeah. since then. You yeah, know, so um, you going with pops, you get intrigued. Yo. When do you start like really getting into boxing? Because you know how sometimes you'll see little ones, man, and they out there with headgear that's shriveling on their head yeah. and big ass gloves. Were you that kid? No, nah, man, I was, I was like. Oh, so at first I was playing soccer, and mm -hmm. then and then I wasn't really good, you know. Right. Foul hit my head, started crying, and my dad oh. was like, "My dad." I, I told my dad though, he was cause he's a big boxing guy. He's always watched boxing, so I, I told him I was like, "I want to do that." He was watching. It was like a Chavez fight. He was watching, and he was like, "You're crazy. You fall, and hit your head, you cry. When you go in the gym, they're gonna right. they're gonna hit you. You're gonna cry." So when I went in the gym, man, it it, it was a uh, it it was I found love, you know. And then my first fight. You know, were smoker fights. You know, because I was too young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was fighting the same cards my dad was fighting on. Really? Oh my yeah. god. Hey man, yeah. and, and were you fighting kids uh, bigger than you, older than you, or? Yeah, yeah. So it was like, hard to get find. in there. Yeah, it was hard to find sometimes kids. So sometimes they would have to put me with kids that were kickboxing. I was only boxing, so they're throwing kicks at me, and I'm just boxing. Damn. And how old are yeah. you around that time? Uh, I'm around like six, maybe six, seven. Damn. Because to be to in order to fight for the USA boxing, you have to be eight years old. Right. So I was too young. So my dad had a fight like on the smoker fights with my dad, like in his cards, you know. So so what? so I'll fight and then like I'll win and then I'll go to the restroom and start praying because my dad's fighting this big old dude. Yeah, you know man. I mean? I'm like, oh man, God, please protect him, man. This guy's big. You're you like, I got mean? through mine. Let yeah, him win. Yeah. Let the proposals get out of here. You know, <laughs> victorious. That's yeah. crazy, man. So so you always been in there. And did you always know you had a love and a passion for it? Because that's a that's a different game, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's a different game. No, yeah, I, you know, I always knew I loved it, um, you know, but, you know, as a kid, you know, I had no childhood, of course, you know, what, uh, you're talking about, you know, a kid that's dieting, you know what I mean, right. and, and, you know, kids are supposed to be eating chocolate, candy, right. whatever they want, but I'm dieting, you know, eating fish, you know, I'm waking up uh -huh. at five in the morning, running. At what age? Uh, six years old, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah, so, man, yeah. you ain't even made it to seven yet. Yeah. I keep yeah, asking yeah. what age, you're like six. Is that legal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. I was already deep in it, you know yeah. what I mean? I was already fighting, you know, like I was, you know... You know, I was like, they wanted me to come on movies. I remember one time they even had me playing. Um, so they had this, this low budget movie that was coming out called The Story of Johnny Tapia, right? Oh, so I played dope. Johnny Tapia as a kid, as a as a as a little kid, but that movie never came out. But we did all the scenes. You know, I did a scene of me street fighting. I did a scene. <laughs> yeah, bro, it was crazy. That was dope. But that movie never came out. So if you're hearing this, bring the movie. Yeah. <laughs> or at least let, let us get in and let us have yeah. a little viewing party. Stream yeah, it, please. Yeah. You know? So when you know that you about to like you six, seven, eight. Do you know that you that you want to be a boxer, or are you just thinking I like, I'm having not I'm having fun, but you're doing something right now? When does it become like I can really really do this, man? To be honest, you know I I you know I I fell out of love with it, you know, okay. um, when I got to high school. Yeah, man, stopped. because there's so much yeah. movement around that time too, bro. Like that's a different discipline. In high school, you know, we supposed to f up and you know yeah. crash the car, and you know that those are are moments where it's like ah. Uh, and so you fell out of love with it? Yeah, and, and that's what I did. Like you said, you know, effed up and, you know, did a lot of stuff and, you mm -hmm. know, but I got it out of my system. Right. You know what I mean? Because right. It's I, better get out of your system than get in the system. Yeah, because my dad... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because my dad, my dad, man, he he pushed me a lot. You know right. what I mean? And and he kind of like, he kind of pushed me to the point where I was like, man, I kind of fell out of love with it. You yeah. know what I mean? But, but after high school, you know, like... I remember I was playing football, right? I went up to like 215 pounds, right? I was like big, big. I thought I was going to be an NFL player because I was playing linebacker. Damn. Yeah. So so I just realized, man, after high school, I went to college, right, to like try out for a team. And, and I was like, man, this is not me. You know, mm -hmm. these dudes are 
six three. I'm you know this little dude. Right. You know what I mean? How but tall are you? I'm About five, five nine. nine. Yeah, five nine, yeah, yeah. And and what's your walk around? I would walk around weight right yeah. now. Like usually when I'm not training, I walk around like at one fifty eight, the heaviest. Damn, and you were at two fifteen at one point. Yeah. Damn, man, is cutting weight is that is that hard or the older you get, does it start getting harder for you? No, I, I think you know the older you know the older I get, the more wiser I'm getting, and right, the more right, I'm taking right. care of my body than right. I did when I was younger. You right, know what I mean? but it it was harder to lose the muscle than it was to do like, the fat. You know what I mean? Man, I couldn't imagine. Damn, I don't want to lose muscle. Right, right, right. <laughs> Who wants to lose muscle? You gotta have it to yeah, lose. Yeah, it I know. So I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just, if I, I somebody, <laughs> no, nah, even the big home, everybody looking at me like, big, you gonna say it? <laughs> like, you gonna say it? I don't have any muscles. Like. Yeah. So when you fall out of love, how long are you out of love with boxing? Man, for like six, seven years. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. Oh, man. So when you go back in, is it like riding a bike or was it harder to get back in now? Well, it was it was one of those situations where my father, first of all, didn't believe me. You right. You know what I mean? Because he was still he had fighters at the time. They were already pro. So I was looking at them I'm like, man, like I'm I'm good, too. Like I could probably do this. So my dad didn't train me for like six months, seven months. He just left me in the gym. He goes, well, go down to 165 and then we'll talk. And from 215? From 215, yeah. Damn. So I was I was in the gym training by myself, running by myself, training by myself, you know, and then my dad was ignoring me. He just let me go until I finally got to 165 and he started training me. Man, that's <laughs> that's like a movie within itself. Yeah, yeah. Like dad looking over at you like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You're like, you're BSing, bro. You're not going to But you know back. what's good is that you did stay with it. Yeah. And sometimes, man, you got to do a whole, oh, man, I could show you better than I could tell you because you told him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and he already saw, you know, many years go in and then you walk away from it. And it's it's a sport, bro, where if you walk away, if you people move on, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And to be able to come back and work as hard as you did and to be where you are now, that that's an, that's also, you know, not just talent, but that's a natural call. And, and that's hard work, too, bro. No. Yeah. And like, and like you said, people forget, you yeah. know, so like when I was younger, you know, I was the talk of the city. I was like, oh, man, Arnold's going to be something when he's coming out in the little city newspapers, you know, and all that. But when I left, like, there was other people that came right. up and talking about other people, and no one even knew who I was anymore. Damn. So, like, so me, like, I call myself the underdog of the city because I'm the one that the least, everyone least expected to, to be at the point where I am now. Damn. You know Did I mean? you ever go from just, like, Arnold to where they, you know, oh, man, that's Arnold. That's, he, the, you know, he's going to be this, he's going to be this, to, like, fucking Arnold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go fucking Arnold. Yeah, yeah. You know fuck it up. yeah, yeah, yeah they go yeah. fucking Arnold over there. Yeah. So, so you say, all right, I, I, I'll go with the underdog. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. And it's not about proving anyone wrong; it's about proving you right. Yeah, of course, of course. Because there's a lot of things, mm-hmm. man. A lot of things that that you know that that I did that didn't make my dad proud. You know? Oh what yeah. Because my dad like like looked at me like, man, you could have did something. You know what I mean? At one point, you know, yeah. and I was messing up. You know what I mean? And uh, and I and he, I I know he he kind of wasn't proud of me at one point in my life. You know what I mean? But but now it's like like me and him are closer than ever. You know what I mean? Boxing yeah. brought us really close together. Hey man, yeah. when was the last time you were in a street fight? Man, it's been a minute. Right. <laughs> but was it I got during those to... seven years. Those six oh, or seven man. years. Oh man, dude, yeah, there's a lot of those. Hey man, I can imagine when you start winning fights and you know get a title, dudes would be watching like, hey, that's him. That's what I told you. <laughs> you know, I knew he was a boxer. Yeah, yeah that could cause you, cause you know it's a trip, man. We got homies that'd be like, oh, you know, oh, he 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 could scrap, he could this, he yeah. could that. The one hitter quitter. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Knockout. Mm-hmm. But then there's some people that's like, oh no, you ain't ready for that. I remember one time I was with Fernando Vargas, man, and I almost seen him get into it in the club. And I even told the dude, I was like, bro, <laughs> you really don't want this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you th- there's a whole different thing that you're not even ready for, bro. And how long ago was the was your last street fight? Man, it probably it was years ago, man. Probably like, man, probably like a little after high school, maybe. Really though. Yeah, rest yeah. in peace to the person. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. 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 Rest in peace to a few. Of them, yeah, 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 man. Yeah. You know, there's somebody right now that got a whole bridge in their mouth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Every time they go get a resize, they're like, "This motherfucker." I hope. I hope. Man, so the next fight is 4:20. Yeah, and you going to Madison Square? Uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, yeah. Brooklyn Bar- Barclay. Yeah. Who, who, who do you got out there? Who's uh, scrapping? Who? What's the fight card? I know what the fight card is. Yeah, but who do you have as an op- opponent out there? Um, well, the opponent, they're they're. Um, I've been having the opponent for a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but there was just you know some stuff going on. You know, with Ryan and 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 Devin, and they didn't know what was what was gonna happen. 
So, um, but they're they're we're looking to announce the opponent. Next okay, week. so but yeah. you are fighting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, is, I'm is Ryan and Devin Haney are they gonna fight or are they just gonna do this uh Instagram <laughs> tour? I don't know, man. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> these Instagram guys. Tour. Man, I know he, he, it was even one 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 uh press conference. You was like, hey man, I don't know what they doing. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. But I'm in the gym. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I'm in the gym. So are you hard in training camp right now or? No, yeah, we're we're hard, you know. Um, I just sparred, you know, eleven yesterday. So, so you know, yeah, we're, you can take we're pictures deep. today. Yeah, <laughs> do a photo shoot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you now we're we're in hard right now. Um, the opponent we've been having him, he's been you know on call. He's been he's been said like, hey, the fight's happening. He's really good, you know. He's right. uh, he's ranked. So so it's gonna be an exciting fight. And it can happen any time, any day. Mm-hmm. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. Like somebody can get it any time, any day, bro. And yep. dude, and, and and my my thing is also, man, you already ready. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you got the call, but you do get the call. But if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready or you don't have yeah. to get too much ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and and even when you fought, did you do, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of amateur, you didn't know who you were getting into the ring with that day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but but you extremely ready? Oh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm focused and ready, man. Yeah, so, man. Like, I, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited to fight in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? I heard that's a different crowd out there. Oh, so, wow. So. This is your first time Barclay my, doing it yeah, out there? Yeah, it's my first time. Yeah. Damn. That should be exciting, man. Yeah, that, that should be hell of a... But have you been in, in New York before? Never, never. My oh, first time, man, yeah. so everything's the first time. Everything's the first time. So man. the fight is on 420, April 20. When yeah. do you get to New York just to kind of, like, soak it up? Um, I believe it's a, the like the Tuesday before the fight. Okay, you know so that mean? way you get we cool do, with the time yeah, and, and then the whatever press conferences lasts. and if they need to do media workouts and all that, we'd, we'd be out there. Man, you know, so you would uh, Golden Boy now? Yeah, I'm with Oscar now, man. Yeah, Shout man. out to Golden Boy, man. And, I, and Oscar, man, Oscar got his eye on it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, people say a lot of stuff about Oscar. I've been rocking with Oscar for decades. And the one thing that Oscar knows, man, Oscar's been in the ring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's been in the ring, and he's been in some brawls, bro, and dude has fought everyone. You know what I'm saying? And fought everyone very well, man. How's that relationship with Golden Boy? Oh, man, it's it's, it's night and day. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like you know, um, nothing to my old promoter. You know, I was with Top Rank, another very good promoter for eight years in my career. Right. You know, so I was loyal, faithful to them, but it was time and to move winning. on. Yeah, and winning, <laughs> like you yeah. said. Um, you know, but but Oscar, man, it's been it's been amazing, man. He's been he's been doing what he said he's gonna do for me. You and know? you got so, co-main on this one? Yeah, I got the co-main on this Dope. one. Possibly main, right? Right, like right. Said, yeah, you know what's what going on is yeah, what yeah, happens. Yeah. Hey man, yeah, what the hell is going on to this day? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is <laughs> day. What <laughs> the <laughs> hell is going on? So is the fight gonna happen? Yeah, so okay. so from what I hear it's gonna happen, you know what I mean? Um um and look and, and a lot of people were telling me like, oh man, like you know like, like I, I bet you you're, you're you're hoping that 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 the that Ryan the pulls out. I was like, bro, like to me, I'm in a win with situation. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah, in a yeah. win with situation. Like I'm the Coleman. There's a lot of eyes. You know, like Hell you yeah. know, I'm still like a kind of a mystery to these people. So, so I, if people are gonna be eyes around me either way. So if I fight Devin, cool. I'm I'm 100 percent. I'm with it. But but you know, I wanted to. I want I want to be in a fight where the buildup's about me. You know, right. I don't want to be like, oh, this guy got the opportunity because because he pulled out. You know right. what I mean? So I want this to be about me next time. You know what I mean? Are so, you watching any of this with Ryan on social media or are you um, locked in? I'm locked in, right. but but I, but my, my pops tells me everything. You know, he's like, man, this guy's saying this and this guy's doing that. I'm like, because when I seen him at the press conference, dude didn't look right to me. I'm just being honest. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just from, you know, I see Devin and Devin's locked in. Like, I seen him, I was like, okay, like, he's he's locked in. But you look on the other side and you're like, what's going on with this guy, man? Is having a panic attack or something? Like, damn. It's quick. Cr- I don't know. It was, just, it was just off to me. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so and, I, and I'm coming, like, I'm on Devin's side and then Devin's people are right next to him and they're just like, Looking oh, like they want everybody like, locked in. Huh? Yeah, so they're, when they're doing the face, I was like, all right, let me go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> Hell yeah. oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's when you go to the other side. Yeah, like, let me like, take y'all pictures of this. Yeah, yeah. Let me, <laughs> let me get out of the middle of this. Hell bro. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I'm, I'm looking at it, and, and my thing is, there's, I understand that they're selling a fight. You know what I'm saying? But but also people say, oh, man, I think he's doing that to sell the fight. I'm like, I don't know if that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the fight so going to sell, the, you know, the stare downs of this, that. I, it, it's just, you know. It's a lot, and I know Ryan, and I f with Ryan, and, and and he's a very talented boxer. You know, I just don't know what kind of spaces you know things put you in when you know when there's a lot to, when there's a lot on your plate. There's a heavy loads, man, mm-hmm. but you got to lock in on what's what's going down. No, yeah, of course, and and as, that's what I said too. I said like, in the beginning, I was like, okay, maybe he's trying to sell a fight, right? But and then and then you started seeing kind like people saying like, okay, we're not going to the fight no more. This guy's not even training. Right. So it's kind of like now you're hurting the fight. You know right. what I'm saying? And so mm. if you are doing it to promote the fight, kind of change directions a little bit. Do y'all I mean? ever have any conversation? 
Me and Ryan? Yeah. No, no, I never. Y'all I just kind of see each other no, in passing. Yeah, yeah. The, the one I did have like a little conversation was with Bill and Devin at the press conference. Man. Like, like Bill was like, oh, Chan, appreciate you being here. I said, hey, oh, no, no problem. I said, look, congratulations on, on this fight. I was like, but if Ryan falls out, I'm coming for your son. Yeah, hell I'm coming yeah. hard. Mm-hmm. Hell I, yeah. I told Devin too, I because he goes, oh, he's going to pull out. I said, hey, Devin, if he does, I'm coming hard for you, bro. So yeah. he kind of better hope he doesn't pull out, man. You know what I mean? So And, and with an opportunity too? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're yeah, like, yeah. man, like, bro, I'm hungry. And I'm hungry. And I'm hungry, man. I've been knocking for so long, bro. The, this opportunity. Hell I went yeah, for so that's long. what Pac say, man. After after yeah. knocking Ooh. so long, Pac was like, the door yeah, let me in. And when you Get in, bro. It's show improve time. It's hey, so man, what about Tyson uh, Paul? Oh, man. <sighs> Tyson man. be 58 when they get in the ring. Man, Tyson, you know, Tyson's one of my favorite fighters, Yeah, man. man. You know what I mean? And, and I'm rooting for him all the time, but, yeah. like, you know, he's a little older now. But you know, you know what? If he yeah. go in to me as Mike Tyson, like the, the Roy Jones Jr. thing, I thought that the exhibition, I was like, ah, uh, it felt like he was holding back. And it's an exhibition. Yeah. But with this one, man, there's two. And, and with Mike, the one thing with Mike, Mike has some L's on him. Mm-hmm. And a lot of boxers, until we start really protecting the, the zero, protecting the O, you had L's. But my thing is, even Mike Tyson last fight, professionally, was an L. But this one, man, all these great deposits into Iron Mike Tyson, he can't take this L from Jake Paul. Mm-mm. It's different. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's mighty different. But I've been seeing him train, bro, and I get nervous for the dude that's doing the pad work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, he looks like he's about to hit him with a yeah, right hand. Yeah, man. man. I like, know that yeah. that dude got to have some A1 insurance because this dude coming at you, and I, I just hope we see a good fight. No, you I know think what I'm we, I think we will, man. It's Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? Mike Tyson has to come with that mentality, like I'm gonna get bite your ear off. You know yeah, what I'm man, saying? Like, that, you know what I mean? like what, whatever <laughs> they did to release that beast, yeah, yeah. they need to do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And get on out there, man, and get in and get out. Yes, get sir. in and get out, man, and, and take whatever that money is, bro, and, and do your thing. But I, I'm hoping that it goes down for him, bro. Do you have a goat when it comes to boxing? Oh, man. Is that a hard question? Yeah, it is. But, but you know, like right now, like, I mean, of course my all-time favorite fighter is Chavez. You know yeah, I mean? man. You got you to gotta go with the, the legend, you know what I mean? But right now, man, I, I love Bud Crawford, you know what I yeah. mean? Man, that dude is amazing, bro. Like, you see his footwork. Like, he hey, dude, he's a right. machine. Man. You I don't know, know anybody beats he him. He one of them dudes, like, if you made an AI boxer yeah. and you say, man, footwork, speed, good defense, good all, that, that's that's Crawford, bro. Yeah. Like, dude is a beast. What's his weight? What's his weight? I, I believe he's at 47. Okay. But he might be moving up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but, and there's a there's a lot of opportunities, man. You at 140 right now? I'm at 140. Yeah, man. There, yeah, there's yeah. some goodness at 140, oh, too. Oh, man, this is the most stacked division yeah. right now. Yeah, it's <laughs> hella stacked, bro. Yeah, yeah. Man, man, Dangerous. you can pretty much close your eyes and throw a dart. Yeah. Ju- Do just, you feel yeah. like people duck you, too, though? Oh man, yeah, you know we, man, we we've, we've have we have receipts of people we send contracts to and, and offers and they don't want to fight. You know what I mean? And 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 you know I can understand it. Sometimes it's like you know like a high risk, up? low reward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah, that, that's like somebody saying, "Hey man, <laughs> hey big, if you go to club uh, such and such tonight, you gonna get your ass whipped." Well. I'm like, I ain't going in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, you know? Yeah, no, nah, man. You know what? But but I mean, I don't I don't know if it's necessarily that they're scared. I just think it's you know. It don't make sense for them, you know, reward wise. You know what I mean? Now, right. you know, it's a business at the end of the day for them. You know what I mean? So, so to me, like I've always said, like man, I ain't scared to take an L. I ain't scared of none of that. You know what I mean? Like I'm here to fight. I'm a fighter. Like I didn't come to the sport to dodge people and be scared of anybody. Right. You know. So, so I'm just waiting for my opportunity, man. Hopefully, it's coming soon with Golden Boy. Yeah, and my thing is, man, it, and it's crazy because all you got to do is show and prove. Yep. Because you, you there, you been there, and and maybe even the look that we see now with Golden Boy. Walking into Barclay, haven't been to New York, you know, co-main event. You know what I'm saying? Like, those those are hella moves, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, do do you, what is it like the day of, bro? Oh, man, day of the fight, man. First, I I love the day of the fight. I get my good breakfast and my pancakes, you know what I mean? I I love pancakes. Right, so. That doesn't weigh you down. You know when you cutting weight and you got to get on that scale? No, no, because it it gets you back, like, to normal, you know? So, so, um, So, man, the day of the fight, I just, you know, I try to relax. You know, I I eat my breakfast, I go to sleep, I wake up, get my lunch, you know, go to sleep, you know what I mean? And then then back to going to to the stadium and. And then once my hand wraps are going on, then that's that's different. You know, my mind changes. It's like okay, now we're now we're locked in, dialed in. That's crazy, man. Like it's wild that you'll wake up and say, "Man, I got to fight tonight." Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got to fight tonight. I got a I got a ring walk. 
Yep. That's crazy to me, man, just knowing that and and how much you put in. You know, and it's crazy because you can have management, homies, training camp, everything, bro. But do you ever just feel, like, lonely, too? Oh, all the time. Yeah. All the time. Even when you're in the gym training, man. Because, like, me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a self-motivated person, so I don't like a lot of people around me when gotcha. I'm training. You know what I mean? But, like, even you're in the gym, you're like, man. Like, sometimes I'm training, I'm, like, sweating, I'm tired. I'm like, man, I picked this with my career, bro. Right. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is a, man, this is a like, hard sport. Man, I could have been making TikToks. Oh, I could have been, <laughs> been doing what Ryan's doing, bro. I could have been <laughs> dancing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, bro, shit, man, bro. Man, bro man. Man. <laughs> You know yeah, what I'm yeah, I'm gonna be doing something else. Yeah, bro. quick, fast, yeah. pass. Yeah, do TikTok, yeah. bro. Hey, man, but yeah, that's wild, bro. And do you have any rituals that you can share with us, like oh, fight day or man? Do you get one hand taped first or? Oh no, man. To be honest, like I, it's it might sound funny, but I, I have to have my bag of M and M's. Really, M and M's, man. After my weigh-ins, like I eat my food, whatever. But I I kill a whole family thing of M and M's, bro. The peanuts, like yeah. I, uh, if I don't have that, I don't feel normal. Like I'm like, man, like my blue one gives me power. Right. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bro, I'm like I'm picking the finding the blue ones. Hell yeah, first, David, you know what I mean? like, go get another bag. Yeah, yeah. Don't put four blues in here. <laughs> Do they taste different to you, bro? The different oh, color ones, or they, they all taste they, the same? If you nah, think about bro, to me, they taste different. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, but they all taste the same to me. Oh God. man. Well, you're not training either. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's very and true. you got the ones that got the peanuts. You know yeah. your peanuts in your mouth. Yeah. You have peanuts all day. Come on. Come on. I'm talking about peanuts in the candy, bro. Yeah, Jesus yeah, Christ, get your mind out the gutter. Get your mind out the gutter, Lou. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Lou. This guy over here, yeah, man. man he going to ask you for free tickets. And then you be like, oh, I got you. Then he going to ask you for a flight, too. That's where we <laughs> get down. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. where he gets me. Yeah. I'm bringing yeah. the M&M's, dog. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we be like, man, we going to be at the fight. And you be like, all right, cool, 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 unk. Like, yeah, give me two tickets. Oh. <laughs> Damn, is there any way to get big two tickets? Like, yeah, man, I want you to, uh, what y'all wearing that night, man? I want you to know vest yeah, or something, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. when y'all flying out? Because I'm going to fly out with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you man. fly out with the big crowd? You, you, you get a big entourage? No, nah, no, nah, huh? it's just me and my team. That's it. That's me cool. and, like, five people, and that's it. Me and my pops hmm. and my team, I come in. That's it. Damn, and, and all you know pretty much is you and pops as far as, like, you know, because I couldn't imagine. My son is 17. But he hasn't been in a boxing gym since he was five. I wouldn't know how to see my son get punched in the face. Yeah, yeah. And it comes with the gig, That'd though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I would probably been this. What if he started at five? I probably would have been out the game by what six when I jumped over the rope. <laughs> you know to beat him up. Yeah, to beat up the other little kid and find out his his son, his dad was a boxer. Yeah. <laughs> do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got two sisters and a little brother. All right, do yeah. do any of them or any of them in the fight game? No, that's, I'm I'm the I, I'm the one, the last one. That's it. No, really? one, yeah, no one, no one. My sister used to fight. My my sister, my oldest sister, she was a boxer. She was really good. She won the nationals. Um, so she she was really good. But um, and how 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 young is your sister? The one that that you? Oh, my older. She's uh thirty six years old now. Okay, did she ever fight a girl named Veronica Olsen? Because my wife got into a fight with a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was just because I'm trying to find her. It didn't end well for my wife. <laughs> yeah, I never shared the story on air. I'll tell you the entire story. Do you know the story? Yeah, oh, man. man. I used to tell my wife early on we were dating. I said, man, if you see her in here, please let us know. <laughs> <laughs> so we we both can leave. You know. So your sister fought a little bit. Yeah. And your your brother's younger. My brother's younger, yeah. And how old is he? Uh, he's seventeen. Okay. Oh, nice. Does he? Cool. And he doesn't he doesn't go to the gym at all. Well, he 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 texts me and he's like, "Bro, I think I want to do this." Damn. Yeah, because he, he's good. No? Like he he's lefty, you know. So he's 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 different. He's good. And I tell him, I said, "Look, like whatever you need, I got you." Right. You know, like I was like when I was coming up, doors weren't open for me, but mm -hmm. I got doors open for you. you right. Know? So if you really want to do it. Then let me know and I'll help you whatever you need. Hey man, have you ever or do you have to make sure after they tape you up and put your gloves on and taping your sign? If do you make sure that you already pissed and everything? Cause that could be a mission, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I always like, and then you know, you're drinking a lot of water, you're rehydrating, yeah. and on top of that, you have a little butterfly. So so you're like, oh, I gotta go pee. I gotta go pee. So I always get that out of my system before this is all done. Cause yeah, because either you gotta hold it right yeah. or you yeah, know, yeah, or yeah, have yeah, the yeah. art of knowing how to do that <laughs> without you got it. the cup on. Yeah, yeah man. Like, I remember Mia St. John, boxer. She said, man, it was times in the ring where she would just urinate on herself. Oh. Uh. She said, so yeah, so like when they would uh do the water or something oh, and then gotcha. wet her shorts up. I was like, damn, I ain't mad at you. Dang, that's, yeah, that's... it's stuff we don't even see though, bro. Yeah. You know, like we don't, I don't know. What it's like to to cut that much weight? I don't know what it's like to know that you know you're looking at the clock and you say, "Damn!" By the time I get back, I you know I, I'm W R L. 
by yeah. by ten thirty or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's like, a, and we sit down as spectators. Yeah, you know, it's a whole different world. Do you go to boxing events? Can you watch boxing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I go to, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the Golden Boy fights this Saturday. Right. You know, um, but like I I like to pay attention more to like the guys I'm like I could fight. Or right. potentially guys that might fight, you know. Right. But but if it's a big fight and I, I love watching him, you know, my pops, oh my god, man. Oh if it, yeah. If there's a fight in Mexico on a random channel, bro, he'll find it. Oh you yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. Man. He's like, I used to be it's crazy. I my keyword on my satellite used to just be boxing, and I would watch everything. Mm. I didn't give a damn what it was, bro. Mm. Do you feel like the boxing game has changed? Like, it used to be so fierce and ferocious, and and fighters fought. Fighters, you know what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. and now it is a business. It's mm -hmm. a business. It's a business of money. Yeah. It's a business of protection. It's a, you know, we're seeing a lot of pick and choosing right now. Do you feel like like that gets in the way sometimes? I feel like I feel like boxing changed a lot in the sense of you know now it's not it's not really about if you're a good fighter anymore. Right. You know what I mean? It's more about like social media and and you know and it's like you said a business. Yeah. You know, and I feel like that's kind of been my downfall a little bit like my my is like because I, I wasn't big on social media and like I wasn't big on getting myself out there I was like oh my fighting would do the talking right but, right but it's I, a different yeah world it's a different world now you know what I mean so you get you're getting fighters that are not even good of a fighter and they have losses and they're still getting title shots before me because of their social media and their following you know what I mean so so that's kind of like something that has changed a lot that I see you right. know and I'm like so I made it a point, you know, this year I said, man, I'm going to get myself out there more. I'm going to do what I got to yeah. do now. And, 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 and even with the device, man, it's like, even though you're like, man, you got to have this and that. Yeah. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? It's crazy how you could promote yourself now and you have to. It's almost like you got to get in the circus a little bit, yep. you know, just, just enough to let people know, like, I'm here. We about to see uh, what's his name, Raleigh and uh, and Pitbull. Yeah, Pitbull. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and see, Raleigh's the one. I, I just love He's seeing him because yeah. I don't know what's gonna come out of his mouth. Oh man, it's, my it's man be like, funny, yeah, y'all gonna hit you so hard yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, me and him got into it, man. We, we no, into it. Yeah, yeah. he's everywhere too, solo by himself, yeah. everywhere. Bro, that guy's a trip, man. We, me and him were cool, right? Like, yeah. we, I've seen him a there lot. Ain't of no time. money in, yeah, in for and, him to be cool with you. Yeah, we were cool. Like, we'd always talk, right? Like, like I see he wanted to, when I was training camp in Vegas, he wanted to top range, and we we're cool. And then after my last fight, he's there, and he's like, he's like, he's like, you caught out everybody but the champ, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Because I, I was like, what's up, Roly? He goes, nah, you caught out everybody but the champ, and I'm like, what are you talking about? You didn't call out me. I'm the champ. I was like, I was like, oh, bro, I was like, you're the worst champion at 140, bro. Get out of here. Like, <laughs> yeah, man. What the heck? Right. Get out of here, bro. Why would I like, call you out? Yeah. I was like, come on, hey, man. Hey, man. Yeah, that dude, man, he's a character without even knowing he's a character. Oh, bro. man. He's so funny, like, like people, we laugh at bro. Yeah. And that's why I even call, I called Jose. I was like, because, uh, Jose, you been in Mexico. I was like, Jose, make sure. <laughs> you you watch this fight. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Make sure, man, because I I, I don't know. And, and you know what's crazy, bro, is that he's and when like he lose, that hundred percent. Yeah, and he's like that hundred percent. Like he's like that. He's like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like the way he's he, convinced. He, yeah, he, that's the way he is. Yeah. When I first met him, he was like that. He looking at me, he was like, "Man, bro, you're big. You're a big one, forty <laughs> pounder." Like, and he's just like, "Bro, he's just yeah, like," man. and I'm like, "What?" Like this guy, <laughs> I not even never said a word to him. He's just like. You know, I'm like, what's wrong with this guy, bro? Hey, like, man, you know I mean? like, my thing is when he don't know what I else to him. say. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just man. be like, man, like uh, he reminds me of a little bit of a uh, Adrian Broner. Uh, yeah. oh, like, cause Broner yeah, be yeah. like, yeah, I'm gonna hit him so hard that he, you know, he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All righty, back yeah. to you guys. Yeah, 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 man. So, bro, I had to get you into the neighborhood. Yeah, Thank man. you for coming into the neighborhood, man. And we definitely. On 420, April 20th, we're going to watch you, yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure, bro. And, and continue to represent the town. And like I say, man, any and every time we see you, you're always A1 since my day one. You Same. know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you spending your time and coming into the neighborhood, bro. And we we definitely going to do this again. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know I, what I'm I, I appreciate you, Big. I just want to tell you guys, man, it's an honor to be here. Thank you, You know, you, um, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of early morning grinds, man, where I'm tuned into the radio, listening to the phone tabs, listening to Thank do you, stuff man. to this guy right here. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. Huh? So, you know, so it, it gets me through it, man. You man, know what punch mean? him so, in his throat so, for so, us. So. <laughs> <laughs> One last time, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, One time sex. Yeah, bro. Well, yeah, right yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? We'll sue you later. Yeah, yeah. We'll sue you. You have to get the purse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now they're going to start tripping off of that. Let me be careful. People are like, why do you get a purse? Why do you get yeah. a purse? You know? Yeah, yeah every, all the cancel culture. But thank you for coming yeah, into the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all stick around, big boys. Yeah. Yeah.